Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get oh. over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> uh, wh what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, that's that's, that's a lot of... Why? What? What you need that for? I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. What? I'll pay. Just just bring it here. For good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Yeah. Mister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hello. Sir, <clears throat> Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks sure. about nonsense. Well. No offense. <clears throat> None taken. Yeah. None taken at all. Hey, stop! What? He's scared. Hurt him, please! I'll try my best. Yeah, alright. Hey, kid, come on now. <laughs> Whoa. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? Hey! I don't know nothing about no damn watch. But... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <sighs> Damn kids. Hey, you want some coffee? <clears throat> no. no. You sure? What? What? I know you. Mrs. Mrs. Downs? Downs? What no. the no. hell happened to you? No. I mean, I, I, uh, help! I, I, help! Look. Hold on. This man is bothering no. me. What? No, no, no. It's not. Shit. <sighs> it's not me. Oh, for Christ's sake. I didn't do nothing. Mr. Morgan. Hey. Sister. <clears throat> Got the crucifix. No, I nope, sure did. I hope the boy he's fine. Nah, he's fine yeah. yeah. Mentally he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is great yeah. to see you, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, yeah, well. <clears throat> Sister, enjoy your day. Good day to you. So much for the new world. Hey. hey. What you think you're doing, partner? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat, I said get out of here. Yeah. This is an outrage. You yeah, alright? I don't know why I did that. Because <clears throat> barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Whoa, 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 whoa. You do right by this fella's wife. You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. Yeah. I am an artist, cowboy. What? I must do what I feel. Look, mm. we have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. All right. Maybe. Arthur! What? Arthur! Who? What? Who? Here. Oh! You came! Well, why not? <clears throat> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. All right. The hell? <clears throat> Arthur. Hello. Hello, Mary. You came. Yep. Sure. Sure did. Whatever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. 
What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm what? a bigger fool than I am. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm begging you, Arthur. Why? I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely yeah. you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than me. Than, me. than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. But Please. Sorry. Hmm. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Well, why not? Come along, Dan. I came all the way down Come here, along. didn't I? What's the old <clears throat> lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down mm. by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. What? He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking mm -hmm. and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. <clears throat> this is the place. Okay. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> you can't stand there. Excuse what, me? The what? Yes, in the street. What? Is it your street? Just get out of here. <clears throat> I said, just get out of here. Hey. <clears throat> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. Hmm. She's gone inside. Yep. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> okay. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. 
to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I am no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. <clears throat> You're as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. All right, why not? Let's see what the old cat has up in up his sleeves. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> <laughs> he went around the corner. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. There he is. <clears throat> oh. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. Oh, I'm, I'm serious. Let's follow. Come here. Oh, whoa. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Hmm. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have All right. I didn't what? realize I was here to impress anyone. What you mean? I am clean. Relatively speaking. Oh. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find Let's out. Let's find out. There he is. I'll never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the mm. brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, mm -hmm. Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Well, it's just... Well, I mean, he it's just... You don't understand. Yeah. Mother left it to me. You but, uh, sold hey. my mother's brooch? How could you? You. <clears throat> oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, Hello Mr. Gillis. Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, just stay put, will ya? Hey, you, Ashton, hold it right there. Stop, mister. That brooch don't block to you. Hello. Excuse me, partner. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Uh, Ashton, was it? 
Let's go for a ride. <clears throat> I'll drive you to a nice secluded spot. Uh huh. Sure you did, mister. Sure you did. Now. <clears throat> It's time to get back thing that don't belong to you, mister. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. Oh, yeah? That brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. Mm. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? No deal. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Well, I'm not that reasonable, partner. Not good. good. Enough, okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Oh, is it now? Mm, all right. 25. Here. Now get out of here. Take the damn thing. Thanks. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Oh yeah? Somebody's gonna pay for this. <clears throat> Not today, partner. Not today. Mary? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Okay. Let's take a walk. <clears throat> Take you to the trolley. Thank you. Ciao. Sure. Yeah. Get your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. <clears throat> yeah? What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. The theater? Well, I haven't been, so why not? Theater? Me? The theater? Sure, why not? Yeah. Be fun, Arthur. Let's go to sure. the lure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> I don't strangest know. I can have. Don't know what that is. Normal <clears throat> business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but mm. you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, Hmm, well, that's true. <laughs> Fair enough. So, <laughs> shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lane. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. Thank you. Well, I, I, I didn't mean like that. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> you silly man. Hmm. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. 
But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. A federal warrant? No, no, no. That don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wofford. We need a man! Alright. Wanna do this the hard way? So be it. Lindsay, I'm coming for you. Here I come, Lindsay. Here I come, Lindsay. Mm. Some bitch. I got you now. I'm afraid that I don't believe you because right now you're tied on my horse and going to jail. Yep, yep. Mm hmm. Alright. Got a live one for you. Well, look here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor mm -hmm. fella comfortable with one of our cells. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Bad, the bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. So. <clears throat> From the city of Saint Denis to you, sir. With thanks. Thank you, Sheriff. <clears throat> I mean, police chief. Gracious of you. 